Hi, thank you for joining me today. I'm Teresa Crawley with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2023 Newmar Essex. This is in the luxury line of the Newmar diesel pushers with a 605 horsepower Cummins engine. I'm going to let my camera guy check out this coach while I give you just a little bit of information. This is the second um, from the top of the line in the Newmar line, so very high end. It has pretty much anything you can imagine that a motorhome of this level should have, but we will go through those um, special things one by one in this coach. Um, just for a little bit of information, we do have 20,000 pounds of towing, 150 gallons of fuel, we do have on guard adaptive cruise collision mitigation system and mobile eye on this coach, as well as a lot of really nice extras. So I wanted you to just get a look at the coach right now. You may notice that this is a bit of a flip-flopped floor plan, and that's so that while you're eating or cooking, you can be looking at what you choose. Most, uh, most floor plans in Newmar are gonna have the kitchen on the passenger side, and this one just happens to be different, and that's just a personal preference situation. Um, in this particular coach, we do have opposing sofas, if this isn't to your liking, we do have a lot of other options. Theater seating, um, we can have recliners, um, but this will sleep two uh, full-size adults in this um, sleeper. And then we do have a booth as well in this configuration. You can choose table and chairs. Uh, we also have four selections of cabinetry colors and fabric colors. If you don't like this color scheme, you can definitely order to your liking or choose another one that we already have in stock. Um, the Essex is known as more of a traditional looking coach, whereas the King Air is more of a modern looking coach. But you'll see that this has a lot of the exact same amenities. Um, we do have the 12.5 Onan diesel um, generator on here. We do have lithium ion batteries and three uh, 15,000 um, BTU air conditioning units on here that can be run. One of them can run with just that battery. You don't even have to put your generator on. We have heated floors throughout as well as powered blinds. So Let's get looking at a little bit of that stuff. First of all, you'll notice that we have these beautiful bus windows. Um, paint, or excuse me, they're frameless. And besides the beauty and the, the largeness that you will get from these windows, um, the other benefit is that they don't make noise when you're going down the road. That tends to be one of the places that air can get in and noise will of course get in as well um, in an RV. So having these frameless windows is a huge upgrade, not just to the aesthetics, but also to the enjoyability of going down the road. Um, as I stated before, we do have um, powered blinds and you can use those in the capacity of a day shade or a night shade and I'll put those just a little sampling of that for you so you can see what that looks like. Day shades are all going down right now and you can control these individually but you can also just put them all down at once. For example, it's nighttime and we all want to go to bed. I'm just going to put those down. Just just so you can get a sampling, it really can get quite dark in here when you're ready for nighttime or privacy. And then I'll put those back up and let's see. The other thing, you'll notice that these little monitors are sprinkled throughout the coach and they're pretty much at every location that you could want them. Um, there's one right at the entry, there's one at the booth behind you, one in the kitchen, one in the bedroom, one over your sleeping position in the bed, and of course in the bathroom as well. So you'll see those sprinkled throughout, but these can control a lot of different systems. All of your lights, the fans that are in, this, in the coach, meaning um, your exhaust fans that suck the air out when it's too hot or there's smoke or um, steam like in the bathrooms. We also have a systems here so we can start and stop the generator, the water pump, TV lift, and there's also a theater mode which will darken the coach. It'll dim the lights, close all the, the night blinds, and put your TV up. 
Um, so really nice if you're ready to watch a movie. Um, but right now I'm just gonna put this TV up so you can see directly across from the seating area. I have a televator that was working for me earlier and maybe I'm pushing it too many times. There we go. I was confusing it by touching it too much. But of course we have your Samsung flat screen uh, 4K QLED TV in here and a Bose soundbar that is hidden a little bit above in the cabinetry area. So that's very easy to access. And when you don't wanna watch TV, you can just tuck it right back away and have these beautiful windows again. We also have equipped in this coach another flat screen TV above the passenger and driver area. That's not really for going down the road. That is for if, say, you wanna watch two games at once or you happen to be sitting at the booth dinette and wanna watch it a little bit more head on, you can do that. Or if you have people doing different things, I wanna set up a video game system and have a game on in the background, you can do that as well. So we have four TVs in total in this coach, one in the bedroom and one outside, which I'll show you in just a few moments. Uh, we also did option in an ottoman in here, and it's smart because it, of course, is a storage ottoman as well. Uh, you may notice all the furniture in here is Villa, which is a very high quality and nice brand, but I know you can't see this in the video, but it is very, very soft to the touch. And also a lot of people get concerned about the cleanability of something this light, but honestly, they wipe right off with a multi-purpose cleaner. So no problems in that area. One other thing to point out is that Numar does a really beautiful job of hiding air conditioning vents. So in most other motorhome brands, you'll see those round plastic intakes and outputs, and you'll see the dust that gets collected in those filters. Uh, Numar builds these beautiful facades to cover that, but also makes it easy to access and service them as well. So um, you as the owner can get into that and change out those filters or rinse them out when you need to, okay? Over here, just a little bit of storage. And I'll just show you that real quick. This is your user manuals for everything uh, in the coach here. And then one more right here. So moving into the kitchen area. I like that they put these in here so that you can reach the back of these cabinets that otherwise are quite hard to get to if you're a smaller person. And then of course we have a dual sink. These uh, countertops throughout the coach are a solid surface, similar to a Corian, not Corian brand, but a solid surface countertop. Um, so if you happen to scratch it or something, you can actually buff that out of this uh, material, but they're very durable, they work really well. But you have two sinks here, and then of course you have a really nice spray hose here if you need to get something down the sink. And you'll notice they did some kind of fun styling with the brass and the stainless combination there. Put these back. Also really nice kitchen windows. So you're getting some light in here. A lot of motorhomes, especially in the past, didn't have a kitchen window. So it felt like you were in the cavern while you were cooking. So I'm glad that they've started to catch on that people want more light. The more light, the better in a motorhome. So, more storage in the kitchen area. And I'll close this one so you can see this one well. We have two more pullouts here. So this one, of course, is intended to be used as a trash um, station. That I would put my chemicals and things like that in. But also over here, you can't really see it from that angle, but there's a place to put these uh, sink covers in here or the stovetop covers just to keep them safe and from rattling around if you don't want to put them in and out every time. And then a little spot for your sponges and things in here. Now, you'll notice that all of these appliances in here are very high end. So we have a Bosch refrigerator, a Bosch convection microwave, and a Bosch uh, induction cooktop. Um, another thing, Numar is really smart um, about utilizing all the space that you have and all the things that you have. So these are actually cutting boards on the opposite side. And then of course, convection microwave oven, 
A, a telltale of a convection is that it's metal on the inside, so you can bake and crisp in there. And then, don't get overwhelmed by the remotes. I promise we'll teach you how to use each and every one of these. We also have touch-up paint and extra parts in here for some other things. This is actually a dishwasher that's very well hidden. And if you think that that's a silly thing to have, that's okay. It makes a really great storage cabinet for some of your bigger items. But I think that once you start using it, you'll fall in love with it. A lot of the people that are purchasing um, these higher end motorhomes, they're not really using them for camping. This is a home away from home. So it does make sense that you would have washer and dryer, dishwasher, or things like that. Um, most of our customers that are buying these are spending three or more months of the year in these. So getting away from the cold of the winter and getting to somewhere a little warmer or vice versa, getting away from the heat and getting to somewhere a little cooler. Also just seeing this beautiful country that we get to live in um, is, is awesome. And why not have the comforts of home while you're going on the road? Um, I wanted to point out these are all dovetail construction cabinets. These are not cheap. They're solid wood, uh, really well made, and of course soft clothes as well. So we have three of that size and then one of these that's a little bit deeper. They also come, you know, full extension as well. So while we're pointing down, you'll also notice there is no carpet in this coach. It's all tile all the way to the back of the coach as well. So one less thing to have to worry about messing up or having to clean. We do have one more cabinet over here as well. It's a little one, but every little bit helps, I think, in a motorhome. Uh, as far as this booth dinette, it's pretty self-explanatory. It does not make into a bed as a lot of other brands would, um, meaning you want to have your grandkids with you or things like that, but there's plenty of sleeping for them in other places. Both of the seats of this do have a little storage underneath. And more importantly, this is going to pull out and has a couple of extra leaves. So you can seat several more people. There are two fold-up chairs under the bed that I'll show you in a minute that match the decor. But you definitely can have guests over in this coach, even though it doesn't look like it before you pull this out. So moving to the hall, we do have a central vacuum with a kick plate here. So that kick plate just works. You sweep uh, sweep your debris over there and it will suck it in. Or of course you can put a hose in here and use it more like a traditional vacuum. Um, the actual vacuum unit is in the basement of the coach and we'll get to that a little bit later, but you can actually hook those hoses up down there and vacuum out your trays as well. So when you get icky in there, like um, your camp uh, wood, your you know wood that you're gonna make a campfire with, um, the debris from that or just whatever you get down there, you can just vacuum it out really easy. So um, really well equipped. Um, here's that Bosch refrigerator freezer I was telling you about. And what's great about this versus all the other refrigerators that we have in most motorhomes is that you can get your ice and your water out of the door here. So you don't have to open it, although you can open it when your slides are in, um, but you don't have to. So you've got that right there. and then. I know this is a silly thing to say, but this is a really beautiful refrigerator. I like how the lights come up kind of slowly and it's just, it's nice. And then here of course is your refrigerator unit. So, and you do get a little bit of bonus space in there because your ice is over here. So that's kind of a nice feature as well. It does have a lock here, so when you are going to travel, it's smart to lock that up so that these doors can't come open um, when you take a sharp turn or something like that. Over here is your pantry. And again, full extension. You can change the height of these if you don't like the way that they're set up right now. But another really kind of crazy thing I thought when I first saw this is that there's a bar right here. You may not be able to see that, but this bar will come and block these shelves from being able to um, fall out when you take a sharp corner, as I was just talking about with the refrigerator. But this bar will actually block this when you put your um, coach in to drive. So it'll help just if you forgot that that's one more thing that it does for you. So it's actually really clever. Down here we have um, some space to store some things upright. And of course you can move these around to make them the right um, size for you as well. 
directly across we have your half bath. Um, they do a really smart door handle here so that if you're in a tight space, you're not catching your sweater or shirt on it. And I've had that happen so many times with the regular handles. So this one is really sleek and hidden. And then the door, it's weird. It pivots in the middle. But the reason they do that is to make it easier to get into this bathroom when the slides are closed. And I will close the slides for you in a few minutes and show you um, how much space you do have. You can get through, but it can be tight for um, some of us. So um, let's check, check out this half bath. I'm going to open the, the doors for you and then let my camera guy um, get in here and see it a little better. We have one of your exhaust fans that I was telling you about earlier to suck out any moisture or heat, etc. So really nice to have that here. This is not storage, but I am glad they put it here. You can reset your breakers um, in here and they're really well labeled as well. Um, but you can just redo your GFIs and all that without having to go outside. So I like that they did that, but also in a place that children can't get to. So. And then we have a really nice lighted uh, medicine cabinet mirror and you'll see a little bit of space here a little bit of space here and then down here as well and I'm gonna step out and let you get a better look at that And the cutest little uh, sink you've ever seen. <laughs> so this makes a great guest bathroom or just a bathroom for using while you're going down the road. Um, the back bathroom is ample size for two people. A lot of times the husband gets relegated to the small bathroom just to shave, but that doesn't have to be the case in this coach. Um, but it is nice that you can have a separate place just for guests. Um, another thing about privacy, we have these really nice doors. So you can completely close off this bedroom space and boy, the sound changed dramatically when I did that. I can hear in here that it's just much quieter. And then we also have one of those going into the main bathroom back there as well. So coming into this um, room, we have a king size bed really beautiful, um, timeless upholstery on it. Um, you'll notice that on either side of the bed, we have a charging station. That's what that black circle is. So you can just set your phone down there if you need to. And then we have a little bit of storage down here. And possibly more importantly, we've got some 110 outlets and USB ports down there as well. So if you needed to put, um, you know, an iPad charger or, um, your uh, sleep apnea machine, that's a place that you can do that. We also have more space up here for that to happen. Um, there is a port here that comes out so that you can put the hosing for a sleep apnea machine on both sides. And there is a 110 back here as well. I'll show you that. So they've thought of their customers. You know, Numar is a company that reads your letters and they try to implement things that make sense for the customer. They design a wonderful, beautiful, high quality, well insulated coach that's really made in a residential way, 16 on center framing and things like that. But they don't use them every day. So when their customers write them letters that, gosh, I don't have anywhere to put my sleep apnea machine, this is something that they read your letters and implemented. I just think that's a really good sign of a company that cares. Um, we, of course, have one of those little panels I was telling you about under here so you can turn all the lights off and things like that here. And then we, of course, have reading lights on either side of the bed as well. Um, I'll show you under here. We do have those extra chairs and extra leaves for the table. Also a little bit more storage under there. And I also like that they put these on these gas shocks, so it makes it way easier to put that bed up and put it back down. It doesn't wipe me out or put my back out to do so. Over here on this wall, we have a silver leaf monitor. 
And that's something that is kind of unique to Numar. They use what they call a sill relief. But what it does is it controls all the systems in the coach. So we're at the home screen right now. It's telling us that we have the air conditioning on, cool, et cetera. But we can check our power. Where is it coming from? What's it doing? We can turn our generator on and off and set it for um, automatic start. We can check our water. Change the climate in here. Turn on the block heater if we're somewhere really cold and we need to get the engine heated up before we leave. Checking our batteries. Um, floor heat. We have three zones of floor heat here, so front, rear, and mid coach. And those actually are on the slide outs as well and under that booth seating area. So that's really nice that there aren't spots you're going to step on and be shocked by how cold it is. Again, the lights, the shades are on here as well. Vent fans and awnings can all be controlled by these silver leaves. Now this is one of two. There's one above the driver's station as well. And you'll see there's a lot of things here that are redundant. So you can change your lights and your shades there as well as your vent fans, but you can also do it on these little um, places that are throughout the coach as well. Now, moving into storage in the bedroom, this one is set up to have, if you need to plug in any audio visual equipment um, to go to your TV here, that's kind of what this cabinet was intended for. Of course, you can change it if you want to. Another thing I wanted to point out is this nice felt carpeting that they put in all of the cabinets. This was in the kitchen and it's in all of these cabinets to help things not to slide around when you're driving. Um, it helps with vibration, noise, also keeping your things from breaking. So thoughtful that they do that. Numar is a brand that builds um, things that you don't necessarily notice or see because they know it's best for you. We do have six of these dresser drawers here. So I don't feel like you need me to open all six of them, but there are six down there and you can divide them as you please. And then another place to put more things here. Of course, there is a Samsung flat screen TV, but what you can't see is behind here, there's actually your Bose sound bar. So that's back here. So you're gonna get a really nice sound in this bedroom as well. One thing I did wanna point out, there's a really nice big window here. Um, I'm gonna just open that shade so you can see what I'm talking about. Here we go. Okay, so when you get these really nice windows, usually you can't open your emergency exit door for ventilation. This one, they were so smart and made it happen. And we have a little friend with us today. Hello, Mr. Moth. But look how they designed this. So you can actually have a screen in here and use this as a fresh air place. So great. Right, so we've got some mirrors throughout. I know some people get really sensitive about that, but honestly, this because it's not your home, it's kind of good to have some mirrors so that you can make sure that you got your shirt tucked in and everything's looking good before you leave for the day. Um, you can, of course, cover those or change them out when it's your coach, so don't worry too much about it. But um, it is kind of nice to be able to see that because they've got to put it where they can in a coach like this. So this is your main bathroom. We do have your washer and dryer here. These are Splendid brand. And then a little bit of space down here to put your fabric softener or your little pods for detergent, whatever it is that you like in there. And then you'll see we have a ginormous shower and it's really well done, very beautiful. Um, there was a teak uh, seat optioned in here so you can sit down and shave your legs or just take a break from the long shower you're going to have here <laughs> um, but also they did the really beautiful stainless steel and brass accents here you've got your shampoo conditioner body wash pumps there rain head shower and you can um, also, they have what's called the Aquamizer system in here. What that does is it uh, lets you know when 
the water is heated up to your liking and then you will turn it on and the water will actually come out. That way you're not just letting it go down the drain uh, and be wasted when you're not, when it's not warm enough. So, um, of course we have your potty here. This is an electric flush and these all have macerators on the toilets. The system itself has um, a macerator as well, which we'll see when we get to the water bay. Numar also includes a emergency exit door that has a ladder that will deploy um, if you need it to. So really nice that they thought of that um, just for safety, but you can also open this if you just need fresh air or need to throw some things out the back rather than hauling them all the way to the front. So really nice that they did that. Um, kind of a unique closet back here. So over here, it looks pretty regular. So we've got shelves over here for storage and of course hanging. There's also a safe in here so you can hide some of your more valuable things. But I really wanted you to see, this has a pull out here that you can put shoes, handbags, hats, things like that. But they just started doing this. This is a new thing and I'm glad they did. And then of course, two more drawers here, socks, underwear, toilet paper, whatever you like. And then more hanging over here. These are cedar, this is a cedar lined closet as well. And it, it does light up when you open it. You may not have noticed we have a vaulted ceiling in here and that just really helps with making it feel open for you, especially since the engine compartment is down here that lifts the floor up a little bit, which is why we have a step up into the bathroom. Um, but this vaulted ceiling makes it feel a lot more open. So just a little quick tidbit. And then look how beautiful these mirrors and this light is your nice vessel sinks. We have two uh, medicine cabinets here with again that nice lining to keep things from sliding around and then on either side we have a little space here and i thought why did they only go that far with that well then i realized there is a 110 hidden in here so you could put a blow dryer or a razor in there um, so you can put the cord through there and then just not have it in the way um, when you're not using it down here, again, this lights up when you open it. And these are the same on either side. So I won't show you every one. Starting here and going down, we have three of these identical sized uh, drawers. And then we have another one that's a little bit different right here. It's a little bit smaller. So, and then yet another one of those touch screens. So you can turn lights on and off from pretty much anywhere in this coach. So I think that's about it for the house portion. We're gonna start talking about some chassis things and then we'll eventually get outside. But I'm gonna start closing up slides so you can get a good view of what it's like when we are in travel mode. All right, first slide is in the bedroom and the button is on this wall right here so that I can keep a good eye on what I'm doing. I'm not running into any furniture. I didn't forget to pick up my shoes whatever could possibly be in the way and compromise this slide, I'm keeping a good eye on it. So I like that they did that. Um, some coaches will put it in a place that you can't tell what you're doing and you could very easily be putting a slide out into a tree or something. So that's an expensive repair. So <laughs> I'm glad that they make me stand back here to do this one. And then the other two are in the front of the coach where I can also see quite well. Before I do that though, I'm gonna to need to put this ottoman up so that it doesn't get in the way. This is a little bit of a heavy ottoman, so excuse me for being a little bit awkward. Okay, you wanna make sure not to put these feet on the furniture because it will mar them. There we go. Okay. Oh, let me grab this real quick. So now we have the driver's side slide coming in. You might notice it sounds a little bit different than that rear slide. That rear slide is lightweight enough that Newmark can use its cogwheel system 
which they have used since the beginning of slide outs in RVs. They invented it, they still use it because it was such a good design. Now that the components in these RVs have gotten heavier, meaning tile floors and residential refrigerators, they've had to go to a hydraulic slide on some of them, which these two are. And that's why they sound a little bit different. There we go. Now you can see how much room there is to walk through. I'm gonna give it a foot. This is about a foot. Turns a little bit here. But as I promised, you can still get into your refrigerator and your bathroom. But you can see how that pivot door helps in this situation. All right, let's check out the cockpit. Former flight attendant here. I have to call it a cockpit. <laughs> So you will notice that these seats are huge for one thing. I'm gonna close this door just for sound. So we've got these huge seats. This is actually called a queen seat um, with heating and, and massage included. Very, very comfortable. So not only is the ultra leather very, very soft, um, this is really, plush and really nice to sit in. Um, you also have a ton of adjustments that you can make here. So of course these are powered, it'll tilt forward, um, you can make the back go back, um, all kinds of little things here as well as your pedals can come to you or away from you. Um, you also can move the steering wheel up, down, in, out. So see this, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it's coming toward me right now. So whatever's most com comfortable for you, you can actually make it accommodate you. And then it does have memory for these seats as well. So I'm number one driver, I want it there. Number two is different. Number three could just be, I need to get out, so I want this up. So lots of options here. Um, this coach does come with air ride. Oh, excuse me, um, air leveling is what I'm trying to say. There is air ride in here as well, but air leveling. So you can use that when you get to your campsite to level you. Um, we also have the HWH computerized leveling here. That's electric jacks that actually go down. They can actually lift you if you're at a really bad angle. Um, so those are your actual material uh, levelers but you also have air leveling and it's actually controlled in here. That air leveling also works when you're going down the road. So it's gonna keep you um, from you know, driving kind of on a, on a road that's really at an angle. It's gonna help you be more uh, you know, level. So um, this is your Allison 4000 uh, transmission. We have your engine brake control here at on, off, high, medium, low. You also have the ability to um, dump your tag here Really nice toll window here, so you don't have to get out to pay your tolls, especially when you're on the East Coast. Boy, that seems like happens constantly on the East Coast. You're just paying tolls all day. Um, we do have powered and heated side mirrors. Your light controls here. And we do have the auto um, light feature here as well. And you can turn your air horn on or off. So if you're in a in a parking lot and you want just a quiet horn, you can have you can have your little horn. Um, air horn is really for when you're on the freeways um, and you really need somebody to know that you're there and that they need to watch out. So let's see here. Got to get this back down so I can show it to you. Here we go. So for those of you who are familiar with the Newmar brand, you know all about comfort drive steering. It really makes this a whole new world of driving versus other brands that don't have the comfort drive steering. Um, it just makes it so easy to turn. Um, I've told people, you know, when I'm on test drives with people, I'm, I tell them, please try to do um, the left turn from the closest left lane um, to get 
um, over, you really have more turning radius than you think you do. Um, this comfort drive helps with that, but you can also just drive with one finger. It's so easy. Um, also, when it's really windy, you really don't even notice it because this takes over for you. Um, they're also, um, they've added the controls right here on the steering wheel so you can make it a tighter steering wheel or a looser steering wheel, which is part of what Comfort Drive does, but mostly its job is to keep you straight on the road. So you're not being blown around or pulled around um, by the condition of the road. So I highly encourage anybody that hasn't looked into that or driven it to do so because it is a world of difference. I mean, I tell, when my customers drive one and they've had another coach, they, they can't believe it. It just takes your breath away. It's so nice. And the result is at the end of the day, you're not exhausted from driving all day. And that's the practical application. So anyway, we are on a Spartan uh, K3 chassis and we've got all kinds of great things in here that we can change the brightness of what we're looking at, the configuration, the colors. Um, we also have, let's see where we can go here. Let's go back. Um, let's see. I have a tire pressure monitoring system integrated in here so I can keep an eye on what's going on with all of my tires. And this is no joke. It's like telling you everything that you possibly could want to know about this. It's not just flashing one at you. Um, but we also have your air leveling system on here, um, your trip info, there's your TPMS, the simple version. Um, and then you have other information you can check out. Your trip, it'll even tell you your miles per gallon, and this is not, don't look at that, that's not normal. Normally these are getting six to 10 miles per gallon. I don't know why it's reading that, but maybe because I was just driving it around the parking lot. But anyway, lots of different options in here. Again, we will teach you how to use this, so don't panic. There is a lot to it, but the more information, the better you are, especially if you're a seasoned RV, or you know what that's gonna be telling you and what's going on here. Um, on these awesome big monitors here, we have navigation, which is the nav and go system. We can control our cameras, and we also have, of course, your uh, sound system. So we have the radio, we have Apple CarPlay, we have Sirius, if you choose to um, subscribe to that. Over here, we have camera systems. So we have a 360 camera um, set up here, meaning that there are cameras front, back, middle, and side. And what they do is they mush those all together to make this view. Now that is a view from overhead, which isn't real. So it looks like you have a drone flying above you, but it's just piecing all of those pictures together to make this really nice, complete picture. I think this is an incredible safety feature. Um, you can see if there's a child or an animal here, you can see if someone is trying to merge into you um, there's a lot of applications here. You can also keep an eye on your tow vehicle or trailer that you have going behind you. Um, it's just a lot of safety going on here. Also, you can change it to any of these views. So if you choose to just want to see the left-hand side of the coach, you can do that. Um, if you want to keep an eye on your trailer, you can do that as well. And this coach is equipped with a camera setup to attach to a, a stacker trailer. So there's a plug-in already set up and ready for you. There's also an air braking system already set up for you here. So I'll show you those when we get to the back of the coach where the hitch is, but um, we also have here, this is basically a jump start for your batteries. Um, you can make it go to the house or to the chassis. So say your engine batteries are really low or dead and you're having a hard time getting the coach to start, you can always hold it down and draw from the house batteries or borrow from them. Um, we also have a heavy tow, uh, tow mode that you can turn on. If you're towing something really heavy, it'll help balance out everything. Um, front fans are just these overhead fans that are mainly used for defrosting. Um, docking lights we have outside, uh, courtesy lights. You can start your generator here, lock the doors, and then we have visors on passenger and driver side as well as in the front. I'll show you what that one looks like. They're all this day shade is what I was calling them in the back of the coach. Um, this will only go down halfway in the front when you're driving just for safety in case somebody accidentally pushed it and then you can still see the road and get to where you're going. 
So that's the basics of the cockpit. Um, the passenger seat actually has some really nice bonuses as well. Um, the first thing, a lot of people ask me about these stairs here, and I agree, they can be very awkward if you don't deploy the step cover. But there is an electric step cover. You just push a button, and this will become a flush floor. Um, we also have um, footrests on both of these seats. Now, the driver's seat isn't going to work when you're driving. You can't have your footrest up and drive, but the passenger can. Um, but when these seats turn around and you use them as like recliners in a living area, you can put those footrests up. You can also tilt these seats way back. Another thing that we have here is an extra navigation screen for the passenger. I think this is a, another great safety feature. This person can be telling you what to do so you're not looking away from the road to see where you're going on the map. You can also have this person program in where you're going or where you need to go and it will find that for you. So really nice extra safety. I, I love that they're doing that and including it on all of these as a standard now. You also have a really nice little table here so the person sitting here can work on their laptop or write postcards or have a sandwich, whatever it is. <laughs> it's kind of like an airplane. Um, and then we have some of our own little lights over here as well. So they have control to their visor. That's that step cover I was telling you about. You can turn lighting on in this step well. Ceiling light and map light here. You also have a charger for your cell phone. And the driver, I didn't point that out, but there is one over there as well for them. So that's about it for this area. Um, I will point out that the screen door here has a retractable screen. So when this person is sitting here or the driver is trying to look through this window, this can make it a little bit more difficult. So this can actually be put away for driving time. Or you can put it down if it's just too hot and bright. But this is of course going to be used as your screen door when you have your main door open. And then we have some automatic hydraulic steps here that are already deployed. So what's so great about these is that one, they get a lot lower to the ground for those people that have a hard time getting in and out of these coaches, because a lot of times the step is way up here. This actually comes a lot lower to the ground. The other thing is that if it hits a curb, say, it'll stop so it doesn't scrape over that curb and compromise your steps. So really smart system there. We also have a programmable door code, and that applies to not only the entry door, but you can do a separate code for your bay doors. We also have a doorbell because believe it or not, when you're back in the coach, even in the kitchen area, you can't hear someone knocking here. And that's a testament to the insulation on these coaches. So it's really nice to have that doorbell. The other thing you'll notice that this door is very stout. It does not blow around when it's really windy out. This isn't gonna just blow in and hit somebody. It's actually, you kinda gotta pull on it to get it in. And that's really smart that they do that. I do have the entry awning out right now and you'll see the pretty LED lights that are under there. I also have your main two awnings out here and these are the Gerard Nova awnings. And what that means is they come down and then they um, have another stage that they come down. Really beautiful, also really nice at keeping the sun out of this area. So if you wanna hang out here, it's a really pleasant place to be, but it also goes all the way to the end of the coach. So it's not like you just have a little area to hang out in. You can go all the way back and be in the shade. Um, here, oh, oh, sure. Someone's asking that if, if it needs service for multiple days, uh -huh. where can you be where, while the RVs being serviced. Oh, okay. Where do you live if you live in a full time? If you live in your motorhome. Okay, so this is one of the beautiful things that TransWest does for you. We actually have a campground here on site. You can plug in the electricity here. We have a dump station and we have water. Um, and we've set that up for our full time RVers. What we do is we take your coach during the day and then we bring it back to you at night. When we're not working on it, you need a place to stay. So we're gonna set you up in our campground and let you stay there. 
Um, as far as other dealerships, I don't really know what they have for you, um, but usually they understand that you're gonna need somewhere to stay. Um, I think we went the extra mile there. We even have free laundry here for our campers um, and our customers. But um, as far as other dealerships, I think you'd have to call and see if they have any way to set you up at nighttime. Um, that is, it's a pickle for people that are full timers and there's nowhere for them to go. So great question. Um, but that's one of the things that we do because we care. So let's get looking at this coach a little bit more. Of course, this is a full body paint. I think they did a beautiful job with kind of, I don't know if you're gonna call it an ombre effect, but it's like a fade that they have going on here. It almost a smoke look on this particular paint scheme. This is the Wells paint scheme. Um, we do have dual fuel fill for our diesel and this does, um, 150 gallons of diesel fuel, but you can fill them both at the same time from either side of the coach, and that way you can um, save time at the pump, get back on the road. Another thing you might notice is all of these slides are flush mounted, so that's gonna make a lot less wind noise and just gives it a better look as well. Another thing that Numar added was these were only on the King Air. These door unlocks and locks. And boy, they make it so easy to especially close these doors. They're, um, in the past, we had to really get serious with these doors. I would always tell people, you're not gonna break it, just get serious. <laughs> and you'd have to really slam them hard. But they made this so that you literally push a button and then I'll show you how you close it. It's just super easy. Um, this, of course, is your refrigerator freezer that is on a slide out tray. And this is going to come out real far because when your slide out is out, it's going to come to about here. And otherwise, you wouldn't be able to really open these well. But this is dual zone, so you can choose the temperature of each side and make them different if you want to. And this is something that Numar just started doing too, is putting this tray up here. The reason they did that is because your chassis rail is back there and there was some unusable storage space. We'll, we'll be able to see it a little better on the next one, but I'm really glad that they added this because truly it was just totally wasted space, all of this. So way to go, Numar. Way to think of something that's gonna actually help our customers. Again, I want you to watch this. So I'm literally just touching it. It just sucked it in for me so I didn't have to do anything else and now it's secure. Okay, so on this one, you can actually see the chassis rail right there. And that's what I was saying, that headspace was just taken up by that chassis rail. So this makes a lot of sense here that you can use this with the slide out tray. Um, this is a manual slide out tray and it comes out the same on either side. And I'm gonna say this is 60% out on either side. So you can actually get to that middle section from either side of the bus. Another Samsung TV with a Bose soundbar out here. So really nice. Um, I always imagine like a drive-in movie theater that you could just set up your chairs out here and just really enjoy the evening. I'm a little bit short. Here we go. All right, so this of course is another slide out. It does exactly the same thing, but it's a little bit wider. We also have some spare tiles in here that match the ones inside. In case you drop a pan or something like that on um, the tiles in there, you can just get these replaced quite easily. These are made in Italy porcelain tiles. Um, very nice, very beautiful. I wanted to show you something in here. So on the chassis, uh, you know, motorhome brands most, mostly will build your floor right on top of the chassis rail. Now the chassis rail stops right here, if you can see that. And then Numar has got a good four inches before they put the floor. Also, welded to the chassis rail is a stale, or excuse me, a steel superstructure. They call it the star foundation. And what that does is it keeps the coach from bending and twisting down the road. The reason I'm bringing that up is because you're not gonna need to use those tiles 
to replace because of that issue. So in the past or in other brands, as you're going down the road, you're bending and twisting, you're popping tiles, breaking them in half, shattering them, etc. Also, having your floor sitting right on that chassis rail, it's gonna cause a lot of vibration. It's gonna ruin your grout. But Newmar built it up and then added that star foundation so it's really not an issue anymore. Looks like I missed an awning here, so forgive me for that, but there is a window awning on this main um, living room window. And it's of course gonna look just the same as these other guys, um, the same fabric and everything like that. But that's if you don't wanna put your main awnings out, you can just have it over the windows and you'll see them on the other side of the coach as well. Um, I'll try to point those out, but it looks like I forgot to put them out, sorry. One more tray. This is only a partial tray because we have other equipment on the other side of the coach there. Um, this is your vacuum components. The hoses that I was telling you about, you can use like a more traditional vacuum. And this is actually the vacuum itself. So that's where you're gonna change your filter and things like that. All right. Also, just while we're here, you can see that this is one of those side cameras I was telling you about that make that 360 picture for you. We, of course, have side cameras that are up by the, you know, by the driver, and we'll see those when we get on the other side. But just so you know, these are in the middle of the coach, and that's how you're getting that great picture. All right. So this is where your fresh water is contained, behind this tool cabinet. Um, Numar thought, well, why waste those five inches or whatever it is? So they made it a usable space for you. Um, you can hang up your tools and things like that there, put some extra fluids if you had some oil or something like that. Um, again, every little bit counts in these motorhomes as far as space, because it's kind of, you know, small. <laughs> Numar, of course, always uses Michelin tires, the very best. Some things that they do are extra, you can't see, but this is one that you can. These are 315s back here. And this is a steerable tag. So you actually, it actually will turn um, for you. Here is where we have your 15 gallons of DEF. This is also dual fill. So you can fill it from the other side, whatever's more convenient for you. Oop, that's already open. Back here, we have your chassis disconnect, your chassis batteries, and then we have your air dryer and fuel separator, so you can service those really easily. Spartan does a great job of making these things more accessible for you, and you'll see that in this back engine compartment as well. Hmm. So back here again, Spartan K3 chassis, we have a 605 horsepower Cummins engine, 1950 foot pounds of torque. It's a 15 liter engine, 20,000 pounds towing capacity. We've got your block heater back here. We've got your Oasis um, fluid you can put in here. You can change your belts really easily. Um, check your oil. Um, anybody that likes to do these things themselves, it's really set up so that you can access a lot of these things. Really smart, um, coolant antifreeze over there, but it's just really well laid out and easy to get to. So I appreciate that. And then as I promised, you have your camera system for a stacker trailer. You also have your airline already set up and your um, seven pin, or excuse me, seven way there. We, of course, have a side radiator here, as any high-end motorhome is going to have a side radiator. That's partly so you can access your engine, um, saves time on service, things like that. This is the other side of that def fill I was telling you about. So just another place to put it. I mean, it's only 15 gallons, but it is nice to have it on which both sides so you can get to it whenever you need to. This is a little storage bay. And I've always said you could put your black hose in there, and I think for most black hoses you could, but not, not your really big ones. 
but it does have a nice place that you can like spray it out if you do put your black hose in there. You can also just put gloves in there or whatever, you know. This is your water bay. They did a really good job etching this into steel so that over time the words aren't going to be wiped off so you can actually see what's going on. And if you happen to sell it, the next person can, can read it as well. This is a mana block system. What that does is say your, your shower is having issues and you need to get it into the shop. Well, you can just turn that one specific place off and continue to use the water in the rest of your coach. So just nice, smart. Um, we have a water tap here, black rinse and a low point drain, gray rinse and low point drain. Um, and the SantaCon, that's the macerator system I was telling you about. So this is your macerator system. Basically, it's gonna take your solids and chop them into small pieces, but it also is gonna pump it. So if you need to go uphill to dump, it's gonna actually go uphill and pump it for you, give it some oomph so it can get out of there. The other thing this coach does that I think is super cool is you can tilt it to the side so you can get those tanks um, more thoroughly and quickly drained. So just another smart thing that Newmar's doing. Paper towel holder, of course, exterior shower. This is a whole house water filter. And then another cool thing is we've got another one of these touch screens out here. So you can check your tanks, see what's going on as you're filling it. Um, then you can uh, turn your lights on out here, turn your generator on out here, and then this is that tilt function I was telling you about just, just a minute ago. Help you get those tanks drained faster. I love new Mars. Oh, these are those window awnings I was telling you about. I forgot to put the one out, but see how it's nice to have these on the other side of the coach. This side of the coach doesn't have big awnings. So sometimes the sun wants to shine over here and we're gonna let it and then just put out our awnings. So now this is your 50 foot 50 amp cord. This is manual pull out and it's powered to reel back in. I'll show you that. I like that they put this button here so I don't have to bend over to get this done. I can kind of stand back and let it do its thing. I forgot to mention in the water bay that the, um, the water hose also does the exact same thing. So we have a transfer switch with a surge protector in here and a plug in here that you could actually plug in if you have a trailer or something that you need to, to power. That's a 30 amp plug in. You can use your generator to power that up. All right. There we go. This is your Oasis Chinook hydronic heating system. So this is going to provide your heat to the coach. It's basically your furnace. Um, it's also gonna provide your hot water to the coach. Um, it's very efficient, clean burning. Um, there's another brand out there and it's a good brand, but this one requires less servicing and it is cleaner burning, so better for the environment. All right, this is just the other side of a tray that we've already looked at, but I wanted you to see it anyway. And again, another slide out that we saw on the other side. And this is probably the best part of the whole coach. <laughs> so we've got really, nicely upgraded uh, electrical system in this coach. We have two 3000 watt inverters and we have two 320 amp hour lithionics batteries. That's 640 amp hours you're getting out of those batteries. There is a bank that you could actually put another one in there. But having the two 3000 watt inverters allows you to run an air conditioner without having your generator on. And that is a beautiful thing. When you're going down the road and you have guests in the back of your coach, it's kind of 
not the most pleasant thing to have your generator running while you're driving because it makes it loud in the front, which is one of the great things about having a diesel pusher is your engine is the, in the back so you don't have to listen to all that noise. But then when you have to put your generator on, it kind of, you know, ruins that whole thing. So really nice that you have this feature. Um, right here, the other side of your diesel fuel fill, docking lights. Um, this is the compartment that you would get access to your generator. Um, because I don't have the engine running, I can't put it out for you right now, but it's a 12.5 uh, Cummins Onan diesel generator. Um, and it is on a hydraulic slide. So you just push a button and it'll go right out for you. And then also obviously your wiring and things like that. Now Numar does their wiring really, really smartly. I know this is one of those things that you probably don't care about, but when you take it to the uh, mechanic, this is big deal to them. Everything is really well marked and it's marked um, as it goes through the coach. So they're not gonna be crossing wires or mixing up what's what. I don't know of any other brand that does that. So saving you time, saving you money. So I promised I would show you, these are your side cameras. They are integrated into your side mirrors. So that's where that one is. And then we also have one on the very front of the coach up top. Down here we have a mobile eye and that's gonna be collision. Um, it's gonna, sorry, if you're in cruise control, it's going to slow you down if you're getting too close to the coach or the car in front of you. Um, you can turn these off. You can change the distance that it's going to warn you, um, as well as your, um, your uh, sorry, on guard is what I'm trying to say. So some of those alarms can actually be more um, startling. So you can actually change the volume um, and the distance that those do that or turn them off completely if you're confident in your driving safely skills. So. Um, like that they give you the option to have it or not have it. We have LED automatic lights here, and I think that's about it. If I missed anything though, please reach out to me. These are live, so I don't always remember everything. It's not scripted. Um, but this is basically how I would walk around if you were here with me in person. So I'm more than happy to help you on this or any other Numar product. My name is Teresa Crawley, and again, I'm at TransWest in Frederick, Colorado. Have a great day.